Hi, this is Jordan, and this is a hack for the game Bubble Mania. Um, Bubble Mania is a fun game with a terrible business model. Um, I mean, it's a good business model, but it's greedy. It's just kind of like a casino where uh, it kind of preys on people not having the strength to um, wait for the game to refill, so you end up spending money just to play this game again. And they make the game, the levels, almost impossible so that you end up spending money to play the game. And uh, I wanted to hack this. I, f I found a couple ways to hack it. Um, as of last week, I used to be able to just double click, close it, and then double click and force quit the app, and it would let me play again. Uh, it would reset my energy. Um, now they make you connect to the internet, so if you try and play it without uh, the internet, it says this is an internet game, even though it's totally not. There's nothing that's internet based about this game except um, making sure that you're not hacking it. So I came up with another hack for it. Um, this, pro this hack involves using Paros, Paros, I'm not sure. Um, it's a network proxy and sniffer. Um, you can get it online. It's got Unix and Windows versions. Um, once you've downloaded it, you set up your Wi-Fi to connect to your normal Wi-Fi account. But um, in Paros, you go up to Tools and Options and choose a local proxy. And the IP address is your computer's IP address, and the port um, can be whatever you want. Uh, typically it's 8080. Hit OK. Then in the details of your Wi-Fi network, um, scroll down to manual for HTTP proxy and enter in the same settings. So now your iPhone's always connecting to Paros to um, connect to the internet. So I'm looking at the uh, data that Bubble Mania is sending and the request is encrypted, which is what I expected. Um, has a token and sends some information about your account and your uh, iPhone. But the response is not encrypted, so it's got all this data that it's loading. It's got ad data and game data and all sorts of things. So there's a variety of ways that we can hack this because it's not encrypted. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't encrypt it. Maybe it's for speed, but um, anyway, we're going to use that to exploit it. So you can watch live transactions in Peros once once this is connected. The cool thing about it is that you can click trap and you can trap the response that you get. Um, so we're going to query, basically we're going to launch the game, try again. It's already queried and sent this response. I'm going to go over to Text Wrangler real quickly and search for Energy Last Checkpoint. Come on. Energy Last Checkpoint. You got to be fast about this, it's the only thing. And I'm just going to change the timestamp to uh, yesterday and paste it. And if it didn't fast enough and send it, then. Um, then I basically reset the energy timestamp. So instead of saying the person has only waited five seconds, they need to wait 20 more minutes to get one energy field, I'm saying, hey, I've been waiting since yesterday. So now the energy is at five, the lightning is at five, and I can play again. Um, there is an easier way to do this if you don't want to copy and paste everything. Um, Basically, quit the app again. And click drop, 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 drop. Drop, drop, drop. Um, I'm just dropping these other responses. So instead of manually doing this, I mean, it's kind of cool that you can do this, like, you can manually be <laughs> hacking traffic in real time. Um, I'm just going to set up a filter. So the filter that I set up is a replaced HTTP response body using define pattern and the this is my pattern so I'm searching for energy last checkpoint um, colon backslash D which is searching for um, a string of numbers and I've just manually edited edited this, this is just a Unix time um, so I just replaced the 
10,000 units, so it ends up being um, yesterday, just Monday. You can really make this whatever you want. You could probably make it zero, but this is what I chose. So this is the formula, and if I have that enabled, I can turn off trap, because it's already just filtering the response. And when I click on Bubble Mania, it's reloading. Do, 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 do. And it's already filtered that response. So I already have five lightning and I can play again. This is just one of the ways to hack it. Um, there's other energy settings, um, but this is the quickest way I found to, to hack it. And if anyone can tell me how to beat level 48, I'm stuck on it and I don't want to hack it, so please help me out. Thanks for watching.